understanding of the energy associated with the electromagnetic radiation is primarily due to the work of two scientists, Max Planck and Albert Einstein. You know, when hot objects glow, radiant energy is being emitted. Thanks to Max Planck, we now know that this radiation is being emitted in small units that he called quanta, where a quantum represents the smallest amount of energy that may be emitted or absorbed as electromagnetic radiation. Planck developed an equation that relates the energy of a quantum to a constant times frequency. The constant is called Planck's constant and has a value of 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. The units for Planck's constant are related to the momentum of the quantum as it travels in a wave. Since the frequency is related to the speed of light, where frequency is equal to the speed of light c divided by the wavelength lambda, the equation may be rewritten where the energy of a quantum is equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light, c divided by lambda. According to Planck, the amount of energy released or absorbed will be a whole number multiple of Planck's constant times frequency. In other words, the energy may be equal to h nu, 2h nu, 3h nu, etc. Relying on Planck's equation, Albert Einstein was able to explain a phenomenon called the photoelectric effect, where light shining on a clean metallic surface will cause the surface to emit electrons. However, there is a minimum frequency of light required, below which no electrons will be emitted. Einstein called these units of energy that cause the emission of electrons photons. There are many instances where biological processes may be explained by physical concepts. One such process is the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process that occurs in green plants where green plants will utilize the energy from electromagnetic radiation to generate carbohydrates and oxygen from the reactants, carbon dioxide and water. Consider the following practice problem. Determine the energy of a photon of each wavelength of light associated with photosynthesis in green plants. If the colors most suited for photosynthesis are blue and red, the wavelengths of light best absorbed by chlorophylls A and B in green plants are around 425 nanometers and 650 nanometers. However, for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that the optimum wavelengths of light absorbed by both chlorophylls are 450 nanometers and 700 nanometers. In order to determine the energy of a photon of red light, we must first determine the frequency. To do so, we may rely on the speed of light equation, where speed of light c is equal to lambda times nu, or wavelength times frequency. Inputting the data generates the following, where 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second is equal to 7.0 times 10 to the minus 7 meter times nu, the frequency. Rearranging the equation generates the following, where nu is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 7.0 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And the frequency will be 
4.29 times 10 to the 14 reciprocal seconds. Now we may insert this frequency into Planck's equation where the energy of a photon of red light is equal to Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds times 4.29 times 10 to the 14 reciprocal seconds. And the energy of a photon of red light will be 2.84 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. The same technique may be used to determine the energy of a photon of blue light. First, we determine the frequency by dividing the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, by the wavelength, which will be 4.5 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. To convert nanometers to meters, we simply multiply nanometers times 1.0 times 10 to the minus 9 meter per nanometer. Inserting the data and solving generates the following. The frequency will be 6.67 times 10 to the 14 reciprocal seconds. Inserting this data into the energy equation generates the following where the energy is equal to Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds times the frequency 6.67 times 10 to the 14 reciprocal seconds and the energy of a photon of blue light will be 4.4 times 10 to the minus 19 joules Now for a slightly more complex practice problem, consider the following. What wavelength and color of light will be emitted by a laser in which a single photon has an energy of 4.4 times 10 to the minus 19 joules? First we write Planck's energy equation where E is equal to H nu. Then we solve for nu by dividing the energy by Planck's constant. This will yield a value of 6.64 times 10 to the 14 reciprocal seconds. Now we turn to the speed of light equation where the speed of light is equal to lambda nu. Solving for lambda, lambda is equal to the speed of light c divided by nu. This will give a wavelength of 4.52 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And of course, 4.52 times 10 to the minus 7 meters is equal to 452 nanometers. This photon will fall in the blue range on the visible spectrum. This concludes my explanation of how to calculate the energy of a photon using Planck's equation. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.